today's video, we'll be looking at what equivalent fractions are and also how to find equivalent fractions. So welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and if you haven't already and this video is helpful, please remember to subscribe and let's get started. So let's just look at this first example, the easiest example you'll find a half and let's find equivalent fractions for a half. But for the first example, I'm going to visualize it so that you can understand. So we are going to take a shape, a rectangle, and divide it into two equal pieces. And we're going to color in one of those two pieces. Now I'm going to take the fraction and I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator, let's say by two. And now I'm going to write down the new fraction. One times two is two over two times two is four. Now let's draw and color in this fraction. So first I'm going to have exactly the same shape, but this time divided into four equal pieces. And I'm going to color in two of those pieces. Can you see that the yellow colored in parts for both of these shapes are equal? They are the same size and the white parts are also equal. So it has the same value. So these are equivalent fractions. They indicate the same amount of yellow in this shapes. Now let's take the first fraction again. And now we're gonna multiply with something else. This time, let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by six. To find an equivalent fraction, you can multiply the numerator and the denominator by anything as long as you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So now I just randomly chose 6. So 1 times 6 is 6 over 2 times 6 is 12. Now I have an identical shape. But this time I divided the shape into 12 equal pieces and I'm coloring in 6 of those 12 equal pieces. Now can you see when I compare this fraction with the first fraction, the yellow parts are still the same size and the white parts are still the same size. So it's also the same value. So this is also an equivalent fraction. So now without pictures, Let's do another example. Here we have 3 over 4. And remember, like I said, you can multiply the numerator and denominator by anything as long as you multiply it with the same number. So I'm just going to choose random numbers to multiply the numerator and the denominator with. And I'm going to give you three equivalent fractions. So for the first one, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. So our first equivalent fraction is 3 times 2 is 6 over 4 times 2 is 8. For the next fraction, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 over 4 times 3 is 12. And for the last example, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10. So 3 times 10 is 30 over 4 times 10 is 40. So this is my three equivalent fractions. Let's look at one more example. And for this example, you can also find an equivalent fraction in another way, but I'll show you that lastly. So first, let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 again. So 2 times 2 is 4 over 12. And for the second equivalent fraction, let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8, and 6 times 4 is 24. But now, let's look at the last equivalent fraction. When I identify a number that can go into the numerator and the denominator, I can also divide the numerator and the denominator by a number to get an equivalent fraction. For example, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1 over 6 divided by 2 is 3. So if it's possible to divide the numerator and denominator by a number, you can also divide to get an equivalent fraction. And like in all my other videos, there will be a worksheet with a memo linked in the description box below. You can just go and click on the link and go download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. 
goodbye.